Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today. So a few weeks ago, we uploaded a video about our front garden at home, turning it into a cottage garden. And I thought I would do a bit of an update because it's a few weeks now and things have grown up really nicely. I'm also going to do an update about the back garden, which hasn't gone as well as I would have liked, but the front garden is quite weedy. But if we ignore those bits, it's actually looking quite good. So let's have a look and see what we started with and then we'll show you where we're at now. is okay it's just got a bit of wind damage this is bring me sunshine by david austin and it is planted in memory of mark's grandma and she looks like she's going to be very beautiful very soon this area here we've got a few things going on we've got a nasturtium volunteer nasturtium growing up through the abrisha there and we've got um salvia amistad looking okay there should be three there but <laughs> Um, mint, I don't plant, I haven't planted that, I just pull it out every year and every year it comes back, I usually root it and put it in a pot. Some lovely willow herbs that I seem to got free with that hardy geranium summer skies. <laughs> and, um, and then just to the side of that we've got Aqualesia norabala, which is the most underwhelming plant and I paid £13 for it. So I'm letting the seed heads dry and then I'm pulling that out because I want to put something prettier there um this erisimum perennial wallflower has been really lovely i think that lithodara is going to go because it's too scabby a plant it's just not interested it's just not pretty enough the flowers are lovely but the plant itself is not this cosmos is lovely and we've got verbena barina <laughs> verbena banariensis this veronica has a five-year-old's bottom shaped flattened center thank you to my youngest daughter um, alliums didn't do so well this year. You can see one of them had died. Uh, I'll leave the seed heads on because they look really nice. This campanula has not done well at all. Half of it went slimy and rotted. It was very strange. Um, it did really well last year. This rose, this is summer wine. It hasn't moved for weeks now. So now we do get a bit of a, we do get a mole in this garden, so I'm just wondering if there's some tunnels affecting the roots. I don't know. They're being air pruned, maybe. Not sure. Scabious are all fine, the GM's alright, the Vabina Bariensis is growing up really well. Um that salvia was lovely, it needs cutting back now. This rose is supposed to be English miss, I am not sure, but it is very lovely. But this half of it has gone really floppy and fallen over. Then we've got this beautiful cosmos, which is a lovely colour. We've got another salvia. 
Nemorosa Caradonna. We've got Solomon Seal, which usually has gone by this point because the soft lilac have eaten it so much, but we've had lots of little birds and we don't normally have that, so that's wonderful. Wisteria is putting on a lot of new growth, which will get cut back um, later to keep it in shape as a standard. Some more hardy geraniums, a few different varieties there. I don't know the names of all the varieties. Um, some more perennial wallflowers, there's a thlictrum in there, a couple of geums, my coral tempest geum coming up as well, more hardy geraniums. I love that pink hardy geranium. That lithodora can stay because it's nicer. I've got Aster uh, Michaelmas Daisy, we've got the geum that I mentioned, and then we have got Lady of the Lake Rose behind that lovely allium. <laughs> Um, it's a beautiful repeat flowering rambler. Needs deadheading though. And then we've got the Alisum saxatile, which really needs cutting back now. Um, and then over here we've got another geum. We've got salvia that's persisting. It's persisting. It's fighting off those slugs, but they love it. Um, another geum, another erysima, more snow in summer, armeria. We've got aqualesia. We've got a cosmos in there somewhere that doesn't look like it's doing so well. And then we've got the Achillea there that doesn't look to be doing so well. And then we've got some beautiful thistles that are going to look very lovely soon and then cause me no end of really painful weeding soon. But yeah, they look really lovely and the bees and the butterflies are going to love them. So, plus they're in the field, so they're not mine. So I can't do anything about it. So there they are. <laughs> so the ladies blush, I thought I'd killed that bear rose, but I haven't, which I'm really glad. This is my grandma's, um, my late grandma's California privet, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is Rosa Compassion. Well, it's supposed to be, but I don't believe it is. But we'll see what the flowers look like this year. Bulletin Old Hall does not look too happy, but it's in a large planter. But, you know, cornflowers are doing all right. Scabious are about to burst into full bloom. Um, That hanging basket, we just... But the less said about that, the better. <laughs> Peach Melba Rose, if you're looking for a climber that's not massive, I recommend this. It puts on a good amount of growth, but it's not going to get huge. There's a dead lavender and some more scabious and an alive lavender. Probably shouldn't plant perennials in with that rose, to be honest, because it's not a very big planter. This is Sambucus nigra or Black Elder, which looked really lovely when it was in full flower a week or two ago. This is the tomato wall, so these are my hanging baskets. We've got cherry falls at the top, I believe, and tumbling tom at the bottom. This will just keep us in tomatoes for a couple of months, hopefully three months maybe. My oldest eats them like sweets, which I am very happy about. This is another one of those rows of compassions that I don't think is a compassion. This first rose has flowered. Um, it looks lovely, but it's kind of a bit cut off at the top for some reason i love that plant there and the stocks smell amazing really should probably plant those diacetin but i think i will probably find that the roots have gone through the pots and into this pot with the tracheosperm and jasminoides which is not so happy look at the color combination between these two i absolutely love that i think the oregano is a little bit hungry <laughs> but it looks really nice with the thyme flowers yeah, this planter is going to go still, but something keeps flowering and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to move it while it's flowering. Pelagonium not doing so well in there, but the alisum are okay. And then we have got some diacea up there, which were again looking lovely about two weeks ago. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with a few of my favourite plants that are growing in the back garden. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Say hi in the comments and I will see you all very soon. Enjoy the flowers.